I want to take you on a journey through one of the most complex and fascinating processes in human biology. As a doctor, I can tell you that understanding male ejaculation is crucial not just for reproductive health, but for overall well-being. The male reproductive system is not just about the penis and testicles. We're dealing with the whole network of structures that work together like a well-oiled machine. We've got the prostate gland, which is about the size of a walnut, the seminal vesicles that look like little pouches, the vas deferens, these long tubes, and these tiny but crucial bulbarethal glands. Each of these plays a unique role in the process of ejaculation. Now, what's interesting is how all these parts communicate and coordinate. It's like a symphony with each instrument playing its part at just the right moment. The testes produce sperm, the vas deferens transport it, and the other glands contribute various fluids. Ejaculation doesn't just happen out of nowhere all starts in the brain and spinal cord. We've got these nerve pathways that control everything. The parasympathetic nerves, they're responsible for getting things started. They cause the arteries to dilate and blood to flow into the penis, causing an erection. It's like turning on a faucet to fill a water balloon. But when it comes to ejaculation itself, that's where the sympathetic nerves take over. These are the same nerves that control your fight or flight response. And let's not forget about the pudendal nerve. It's crucial for the sensation and muscle control in the pelvic area. Think of it as the conductor of this biological orchestra. Okay, so now we're getting to the real action. The emission phase is where everything starts coming together. Literally. The vast deferens, those tubes that carry sperm from the testes, start to contract. At the same time, the seminal vesicles and prostate gland jump into action. They release their fluids, mixing with the sperm to create semen. This mixture pools in the posterior urethra, kind of like water building up behind a dam. It's all about timing and coordination at this point. Now, this is where things get really interesting. The expulsion phase is like the grand finale of a fireworks show. It's triggered by a reflex in the spinal cord, causing rapid contractions of several muscles. The bulbal spongiosis muscle, which runs along the bottom of the penis, starts to contract rhythmically. It's joined by the isiocavernosis and pelvic floor muscles. These muscle contractions create waves of pressure that force the semen out through the urethra. It's not just a single push, it's a series of pulses. Each one sends a jet of semen out of the penis. 